turns, what we call a quarter turn, your half turn, and then your spin on the backside. So these guys haven't done this yet, so we'll see how this goes. We're gonna do a quarter turn front circle first, so I'll go on you. And he's just gonna quarter turn inside, good. And he's gonna throw this on the run to start. Quarter turn, that's a foot, so on the run and a foot split. So again, same play, different post catch foot patterns. More options, okay? The next one's gonna be a little bit harder, it's gonna be a little bit deeper, it's gonna be the middle. They're gonna be forced to work a little bit harder on their pivot and their turn towards target. Boom, good. Good, and then the back circle is gonna be their spin move. Ooh, that was the seven ounce ball. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Catching it deep, really good, bud. Really good. Okay, so again, like giving them giving them an idea of the intersection point allows them to start to identify their play type as the batter balls hit to them. All right. So you take this away in a game, and all of a sudden they're identifying different play types. It's it's all forehand, but they're all different forehands. They're all different post catch and pre catch foot pattern. Okay, we'll go to the backhand. What do I got, about five minutes? Boom, perfect. Yep. yep. Sorry, bro, I told you we weren't gonna get there. Okay, so the backhands, okay, this is my favorite one. We'll spend an entire day on backhand playing. We'll set up a lot of different drills. This is more of the advanced version of this. Like, we would normally just work on one specific play type, but now that we are doing the snowman here, the middle circle is gonna be the one we kind of live in. It's gonna be the most prioritized circle. The one with depth is also, the one up front is pretty rare. It's more of your third base style, what we call a turn the corner. We're gonna go middle circle, rake, right, and split the feet to our target, okay? So he's gonna start with his front leg down, yep. We're just gonna get there, right foot's gonna get past, he's gonna rake through, perfect. Uh, uh, Garcia, I want you to four step out of this one, okay? So there's a two step, boom, one, two, three, four. Now we have same play type, two options. Okay, now we're gonna go to the back circle. We're gonna do our right foot lead. So this is your standard backhand where our right foot is down and we're just gonna make a standard routine backhand. I'll talk a little bit about why I don't love this play. Boom, good, two step, four step, right? Okay. So this is probably the most common teach and the most common play type. Here's why I don't love this play type sometimes. When, when time constraints start to come out and we know that we have to get out, we get there, and then my brain automatically says, I gotta go. And what happens with that right foot? It starts to extend up towards our throwing intended target, and what do we do? We leave the ball off the end of the glove, it goes under our glove. If we decide, if we know we have a time constraint, Okay, we might have to roll the dice there, but instead of coming out, we're gonna do what we call a dip and drive. So they're gonna get there, they're gonna catch it, and they're just gonna drive in and out of it. So they're gonna ride the catch and drive out of it. Pretty tough play here, but one that's worth practicing. Can't gain ground, it's a zero foot. Boom, yep, gotta get that right foot under the hip if you can. Good, really good, bud. Okay, we're gonna go to left foot catch. This to me is the most under taught catch it's probably the most important to me, but when I go left foot forward, what can I not do before I catch the ball? I can't go that way. So it's gonna allow me to bury my nose over my catch, over my catch, not behind it, over it, and then I'm just gonna clamp off of it. Left foot catch, tough hop. Got him. Really guys, nice. job. Last one here, I just want you to get one more. Okay, now we're gonna extend them into their gathers, so they're gonna catch a backhand. You're gonna gather through, set your feet and throw. Okay, tough play here, gotta get it going. Gotta get it going, he's gonna gather through, go ahead and run through it like a full, blend, uh, full hand backhand extension. I'm gonna throw this before you go. Go, 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 go. Boom, gather, throw, okay. That, I'm gonna leave you there, but the next one would be jump throw. Okay, the last option is this front circle, and I'll end on this. This will be this front circle. Turn the corner, it's the Arenado play where they're flying up. Remember we talked about those hip angles over there? This is where we're gonna see that kind of come into play. All right, so this is gonna be a slower roll or a higher toss. 
right? And they're gonna come through backhand on the run. See his hip angle as he caught it and the glove retreated. Okay, on the ground, good. On the run, you could also make this play gathering and gaining Pujols, right? It's flying down the line. It's flying down the line. We have time. We're going to split our feet post catch. It's going to get there, split the feet. I want you to try to get that front side intersection, get to that first circle. Really heavy attack to catch the hop. Boom, split it. Good. 